In 1998, the Log Cabin Republicans of Texas, a gay Republican organization, sponsored a statewide effort to increase the participation of mainstream Republicans in the Texas GOP. In March, thousands of Republican precinct chairmen were elected in neighborhoods across the state, including scores of openly gay Log Cabin members. Two weeks later, over 50 Log Cabin members were duly elected as delegates and alternates to the Texas State Republican Convention to be held in Fort Worth that coming June. Log Cabin applied for an information booth in the hall, which is common among Republican organizations at every convention. But unlike every other GOP group that applied, Log Cabin's application was promptly denied. The party didn't stop there. State Party spokesman Robert Black compared the Log Cabin Republicans to the Ku Klux Klan and child molesters in the Texas news media. Black said the State Party would not rent space to pedophiles, transvestites, or cross-dressers. Our members in Dallas were incensed. We've never been uh, subject to defamatory language like this. They called us deviants to the Houston newspaper. Then in the Austin newspaper, they called us a hate group that spews hate. We felt that the, uh, that the governor should speak out against this. Hours after the log cabin press conference in Austin, Governor Bush issued a statement through a spokeswoman. It said, Governor Bush believes all individuals should be treated with dignity and respect. While he differs with the log cabin Republicans on certain issues, he does not condone name calling. But the governor's statement did not stop the attacks. Party spokesman Robert Black continued his verbal assault in the media. Texas party chairwoman Susan Weddington stood by Black and left the name calling unchallenged. The Austin American Statesman reported that Family Research Council President Gary Bauer would judge Governor Bush as a possible presidential candidate on how adamant he would be in the future on excluding gays from the Republican Party. Bauer had previously criticized the national GOP for its support of gay Republican candidates. I think what's taking place here in Texas is important because it really is the front lines. There is not a more radical right Republican Party in the United States than the Republican Party of Texas. And if they succeed in what they're doing here in taking over a large state party and dominating the agenda, then that is a cancer that's growing inside the Republican Party and it will soon spread to your hometown. So it has implications to Republicans around the country and to gay and lesbians around the country. And gay and lesbians who might think this is an inner party squabble and why would you stay in the Republican Party have to realize this is simply the front lines. This is where the battle's being fought. Are to discriminate against gays and lesbians in your own party? Take it up with God. We don't like them. God don't like them. They're perverts. They're sodomites. Log Cabin Republicans decided to organize a rally, calling on the state party to follow Governor Bush's lead and put an end to the attacks. The Log Cabin delegates began assembling outside the convention hall in Fort Worth. There are 50 elected delegates and alternates from Log Cabin that are at this convention. As they prepared to make their plea for an inclusive Republican Party, a crowd of counter-demonstrators, some of whom were also delegates to the convention, were waiting for them. God don't love you. I can only do it because God loves God does not love you. God does not love you. He hates you. And you can burn him. That's true, change. God. We have two different gods. No, no there's God only one God. God love. There's one God. God. In the searing 100-degree heat, activists incited by the party's week-long media assault began jeering, trying to disrupt what was planned as a peaceful rally. Is we a sodomite? Come on, queer. Or is he a queer? Several days after that, our members and supporters opened up the Dallas newspaper and were shocked yeah. through defamatory remarks made by Mr. Robert Black. Yeah, Mr. Black! Yeah. Mr. Black brazenly compared the Log Cabin Republicans to a hate group like the Ku Klux Klan and compared us to pedophiles. We are here today to say that it is unacceptable to defame any group or individual based on prejudicial stereotypes. After God bless you. Texas has got to stop this kind of behavior. Right so on, to the Texas, Texas Republican Party, I Texas. say this. We are Republicans. We are Americans. Open the door. The jeering grew more pointed. 
when a log cabin delegate introduced his grandmother, a former county GOP chairwoman, to speak, the shouting intensified. Every eye shall see. Every eye shall see. When Jesus comes from that sky, you will burn. You will not have a second. The state leaders do not see the sky. The state chairman, Susan Weddington, does not speak for me. You don't speak for me. The counter demonstrators grew more aggressive, screaming anti gay epithets, some even jumping on stage and holding signs too graphic for broadcast on television. But the eyes and ears of America were there. When Barry Goldwater was nominated as a Republican nominee in 1964, when he spoke before the convention, he uttered these words, and I quote, This party, with its every action, every word, every breath, and every heartbeat, has but a single resolve, and that is freedom! Texas Republican Party staffers were in the crowd, observing the events outside. They scrambled back to report that the counter demonstrators included delegates from the convention who were turning on the rally speakers. And we're here to draw the line. We're here to draw the line and say no more. No more hatred. No more hatred. No more hatred. And you're down. And no, 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 never. I'm ashamed because I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah. And I'm ashamed that people in the name of God will pervade this hatred at this rally and in my party. Because I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Because I believe in a God of love. My God is about compassion, love, forgiveness, generosity. I don't hear that coming from any of these people. I don't hear it coming from that convention hall. We know that we fight for the voiceless, but we fight for people who want to love each other. But we fight for people to be honest. We know that our cause is just. We know that God is on our side. And we know, and we know, we know something very powerful. They may have more numbers. They may have more numbers in that hall. But numerical strength never, never will beat moral strength. And we will win this battle. We will not be silent, we will not go away, we will not be in politics, we will not be in our party, we are standing and we are fighting. We are all created in the image of God. We are all God's children. The sequence of events that the party leadership had itself set in motion with its steady stream of anti-gay attacks were spinning out of control. The disputes did not deter... State Republican convention is in full swing in Fort Worth, but the focus is not on what's going on inside the convention. As Fox 4's Shondalee explains, all eyes were on some people outside who were staging a protest. There were some fireworks today in Fort Worth surrounding the state's Republican Party convention. Things were heating up a bit outside. A verbal battle was underway between a gay political group and a group of religious conservatives. Well, the Republican Party pushed for unity at the state convention, but some gay Republicans say that doesn't include them. Now, under enormous pressure, the same Susan Weddington, whose office spent the week making mean-spirited attacks on the log cabin delegates, was forced to go before the convention and completely reverse herself. And so, as state chairman of this party, I want to say for all of us that we denounce in any public forum and debate attacking other people in such a mean-spirited and derogatory way. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings.
Moderate Republicans worry that presidential contenders may decide gay bashing is if not politically correct, then at least politically smart. Item. Other possible contenders, including Steve Forbes and Newt Gingrich, have courted support from conservatives hostile to gay rights, such as James Dobson, a Christian radio host. Item. You don't go to hell if you don't repent. You will burn in hell. Last weekend, Texas Republicans denied a booth at their convention to gay Republicans who protested. Don't back down until we take back this party from the extremists who have it under control I've right I've been now. absolutely inspired by the Texas Log Cabin. And at a very deep and personal level, they are absolutely fearless. And they have a courage that I wish I had. To go into that convention hall and to hand out leaflets in the face of the bigots and have the comments be screamed at them and so forth. And this is their home state and this is their place. And it would be so much easier if they moved to New York or San Francisco or somewhere else to be a gay person. And they say, no, damn it, I'm Texan. I'm staying in Texas. And I remember at one point in the rally, the protesters were climbing onto our stage and Sam, one of our members, was being crowded off the stage by this protester twice his size, holding some hate-filled sign. And this protester turns and grabs the American flag out of Sam's hand and throws it to the ground. And I thought, how could anyone be so full of hatred they would throw the flag on the ground? And then a second later, this guy grabs Sam's other flag and throws it down too. And I thought to myself, what kind of people are they? I liken the position of, of gay Republicans in Texas to the position of black Democrats in Mississippi in the 1950s and 1960s. If you had said to a black Democrat in Mississippi in 1955, for example, what are you doing in the Democratic Party? They would say, I'm fighting because I belong here. This is my home. Well, we're fighting because we belong here. This is our home, and we're not going away. I have to say that. There's a sign floating around here that says we should all go back to San Francisco. I want you to know that we're not from San Francisco. I was born right here in Fort Worth, Texas. I am proud to say that my grandfather was president of the school board in Fort Worth, Texas. In Fort Worth, religious extremists tried again to exclude gays from American political life. The state GOP leaders thought the gay community would roll over and play dead, but they guessed wrong. And Log Cabin showed them that the battle was just beginning. Because you here today in Fort Worth, Texas, are the front lines of the battle for equality. You're the front lines of the battle for the radical right. Right here, this is it. This is the front line. This is my party, and I'm not going away.